Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, match number three, Triff Gaming versus Team Samurai X1. Brand new series on the channel called Triff Gaming versus Team Samurai X1. A whole series of uh, hundreds of different challenges. One, one right now. One, one right now. This will be three, the deciding of the TCG. So let's see who's going to win this one. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to smash the like button. And... If you guys did not purchase the beautiful Triff Game playmats yet, make sure to get yours right now while you guys can. And let's go into it. The grudge match, baby. Triff versus Sam. Round three. Let's go. Triff versus Sam. Round number three. Match number three. This is the whole part of our new series. We're going to duel. We're going to play. Let's go. Today, I will be going second against Sam's strategy here of Sprite versus Sprite. After this, we'll be using new decks. New decks after this one, and we are going to be facing off and showcasing the power of the Beckoning Beast engine, which is a very cool engine in this deck. What's really cool about it is that you have the continuous spell to give never-ending follow-up, similar to how Swap Frog and Ron and Toad will always be in the grave to continuously summon back. So it's cool to all add together. Uh, here he's going to go into Swap Frog. Swap's going to send Ron in, and he's going to go into. He's debating which ones he wants to keep on the field which what he wants his end board to be and how many interruptions he actually has in his hand is will will, de will depend here uh, on if he wants to bring out he could add the salt back to his hand and do more plays so let's see how this goes he's going to end up summoning back to ron in make totally awesome uh he's going to bring out this with the spell card to make an extra gin buster and this is going to give he also wants to, he summon, wants to summon jet first uh cool thing about jet is that yeah you can also summon it with xyz's there and then he's going to get smashers so he has smashers we already saw he had a prosperity so he's gonna have smashers prosperity ash blossom toad double toad gin buster let's break this shit boys let's do this so he does have a very nice board here but we're gonna try and break it so we're gonna normal summon red here okay this is important to my summon sadly i didn't uh yeah i go special pixies here so i'm trying to put him on like uh smart plays i want i have to get want to get rid of the gin buster here i want to get rid of the gin buster so i special pixies i special jet right after this and uh make the judgment call if i enter battle phase pixie attack bus gym buster i would lose my battle phase right away he used super poly very unlucky oh my god what a great card that was in the battle phase he super polys them both away uh and then main phase two i just draw all splites i don't have any uh right uh i think i had one right and no, i i think i don't yeah uh, i go into blue i go into dark i don't use the fact i don't want it to get negated i use the fact of this uh, knowing that if he negates it with Toad, I can search, and he negates with Gym Buster, and it's going to be game. I had right of Hermes here, but I knew it was going to be negated with Toad, so I had to save and wait a little bit. Good setup by, by Sam. That You guys saw there the power of Super Poly. Super Poly in the mirror match is absolutely incredible. So that is a huge thing about Super Poly. In the mirror, it's really good. But in other decks, I really don't like it against Tyrell Element. Like, yes, if they have two fusions that are not Kikalos, sure, it's good. But... A lot of the times you're going to be uh, fusion summoning their Kikalos or their Tyrellament cards and it'll just get them more value. Here I go first. I'm like, yo, that's it. I lost round two. I lost match two. I, there ain't no way I'm going to lose this match, baby. So I go right over here. Summon out all this stuff. This is the beauty of this deck. I summon out the Gannick Splite. Uh, see if he's going to uh, hit it. He goes Nib Gamma. This is fine. So I get hit with Nib Gamma. How are you going to recover from this scenario? I get hit with Nib Gamma. Okay, no problem. Talents look into his hand. Get rid of Carrot. He only has Crow left in hand now. So the only thing that he needs now, all I need is for him to not have a one card starter. He draws Prosperity. Man, unfortunate. So he gets Prosperity, and Prosperity is going to get him into Swamp Frog. Which Swamp Frog, it's not a one card starter for him. So we're still good, and I still have a one card in hand. So even though I get hit with all those hand traps, we are still completely good. Showcases that he banishes the Almirage. Uh, funny enough, by the way, so we had this talk, me and Sam, and we're going to talk for a little bit here, which I want to talk to you guys about. Is Almirage needed in your deck? Is Almirage needed in your extra deck? I believe it is absolutely not. I know he's playing the Beckoning Beast engine, which the Beckoning Beast engine allows it. So if you open the spell card, you can still play with it. But if you go normal summon Beckoning Beast, search the spell, spell search monster, you normal summon the monster, you're just never going to need Almirage. I do not believe Almirage is required in this deck. I believe it is a useless card in the extra deck. The only time Almirage is required is if you're playing Plague Spreader or Cap Shell. Other than those scenarios, you do not need to be playing Almirage, even if you're playing the Beckoning Beast Engine. Sadly here, I do not open a level 2. Uh, we do need a level 2 badly. 
but I will still be able to set up uh, something D-Line Foolish. Uh, that's not D-Line Foolish. This by no one's getting crowed, so that gets crowed. Uh, I still summon it anyways. Probably should have waited, uh, but it still gets a card out of his hand. So he's going to swap frog here, run in, uh, add this back to his hand. He opts to... He, he, the reason why he didn't summon swap, add it back to his hand is because of Iria. He opts to do it now, knowing that he's going to have one turn left. So uh, what I'm going to do... So he has that run in the grave there. So what I'm going to do is add an Enchantress. I'm going to special Enchantress specifically to take Iria. What Iria will allow me to do now is take his run into it and go into Gigantic. So I special the Iria. Sorry, not even wrong. I'm literally just going to climb the Selene Axis Code and win. Uh, so here what we're going to do is uh, special the Enchantress, go into Iria. Take his Ronin, he negates that, and then I go into right and go uh, with these two. I'm gonna go into Elf. Uh, so what, yeah, Elf into uh, this into Splite, and this is going to be a uh, game over here. So good game over here at the game two. We're gonna go on to game number three now. We go blue jet starter, and uh, this is gonna be game with this summoning jet in the battle phase. So we're gonna go to game number three, absolutely epic match so far. Uh, we've been bricking the round two against them, uh, very unlikely for this deck. But, you know, opening like Sanctum Trap Trick uh, and Scythe. Uh, so one important lesson I want to tell you guys now is uh, Scythe is good if you're playing Illusion of Chaos, a searchable Illusion of Chaos to put back the specific artifact Scythe if you draw. But if you're not playing that because you're taking good 6,000 light points, you play a point as Red Lotus. It's absolutely insane how good that card is. Like, you literally look into your opponent's hand, literally look into your opponent's hand, and get rid of the problem know their hand and play accordingly that is so good like i don't think you guys understand the power of that card so here is going to be the ever important game number three i'm siding in everything i do not want this i do not want him to win i must win so we're gonna put up everything over here so we're going to see who's going to win this match triff or sam why don't you guys let me know in the comments who you guys think is going to win uh oh super poly super if you guys have recognized these past few matches with sam super poly has been a crazy good so in this format if everyone ends up playing splite which they should it's literally the best deck by a side we should all be playing super poly and literally uh despite uh taking up two slots in the extra deck having access to garura it just super poly is just one of the most it's mystic mind-esque in terms of its power it's such high impact by itself such a bum of a card uh that it, it's a quick play as well if it wasn't a quick play who gives a shit but the fact that it's a quick play it's a dark ruler quick play essentially because it can't be responded to absolutely insane so if this format is going to be all splite we are going to have to play super poly so here i looked at my hand i did not draw enough go second cards uh defensive cards i believe i think what it was so i think i go right away to go swap rock i go swap a run and swap uh, swap effects and swap and i'm gonna bring out uh, instantly i'm gonna bring a toad why i'm gonna literally set up so you can dd crows unfortunate why i wanted to set up a toad right away uh i go special pixies uh special pixies i'm gonna go straight into gigantic splite and i'm gonna just enter the battle phase and clear the board because by doing this i attack elf get elf off the field and then instantly just zeus downward downward zeus out the entire board uh instantly uh, so I enter battle. He opts to elf first uh, to bring out an extra level two on the on the field. That's no problem. <clears throat> I'm still gonna enter battle. Get rid of that instantly. Downer, and then I'm gonna go right after the downer. I'm, I'm thinking here. Okay, yeah, Zeus. Let's just do it. I'm gonna Zeus. Toad. He's gonna toad, and he imperms, and then to the imperm. I'm thinking, and I change off my baby. Hey, what a play, bro. I did not drop with his toad, knowing damn well I could just Zeus the whole board away. And then I made sure it all resolved. And then he ashes too. Are you kidding me? We're playing through Ash, Super Poly, Smashers, DD Crow, Double Totally Awesome. That's six negates. We just played through six negates. And it's fine. We're still going to win the fucking game. We're that And Imperm. Oh my god. Ash, Imperm, Crow. Oh my. We're actually crazy, bro. Six negates. We droplets this right away. Amazing. On his effect. Amazing. And his prosperity. Oh my god, bro. His gigantic splites at 1,000 attack. He can't clear it right. All we need is very simple. We just need him to not draw starter. Anything but starter, we win the game. It could be anything else. Any other card in his entire deck. He already know about summon. No extender. He literally loses. Next turn, I kill gigantic. We draw a card. We literally win the duel. On the spot. Anything. 
but split starter. We win the duel, no matter what we draw, we win the duel. Anything but split starter. That's all we need. Okay. And of course, the first fucking card is split starter. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? The first card was split starter. Oh my god. But you know what? Look, real champions don't give up. Mission Impossible. Splite destroying a 2,000 attack monster. Mission Impossible. Man, I'm telling you. This deck cannot out 2,000 attack monster. It's so difficult. You have to go out of your way to out a 2,000 attack monster. So it's fine. Don't worry. It's all good. Because he has to destroy it by battle twice. Not even just once. So here he has Elf Jet Toad. Okay, well, he's going to do a take back here. I, he, he sees my graveyard. And I have Pixies in my graveyard. Pixies is so good, bro. This is what Pixies just needed in this deck. He's going to switch his play up or where he's going to put dark at the top and then he's going to put uh yeah he's going to put dark at the top and elf at the bottom so he's going to go uh, this is just a much better play so he's going to uh just repeat all this go dark at the top and then elf in the middle and then uh by uh yeah the, by taking uh he's going to take my pixies and pixies will allow it so he can destroy my card uh very unfortunate bro and of course with this scenario i uh, can't do it i activate fate play to the toad you cannot toad an already face of spell card and uh I was just gonna hit, hit with smashers and he's gonna told the card in my hand. So we ah! GG Sam, absolutely amazing match. Pleasure dueling as always. Guys, make sure to check out the series. We're gonna be doing more. Round number four, doing something really cool, not Yu-Gi-Oh! Who knows? See you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace!